Okay, so this is the Seal of Solomon. I know very little about the Seal of Solomon, but I question things that people say have been around for a long time. Because, you know, if, if something uh, if something is credited to have been around for a long time, it's, it may or may not be an agenda of Satanists to make people believe it's been around for a long time. But I'm going to assume this symbol has been around a long time, or some variation of it has existed for a long time as, a, as some kind of meditational tool for Satanists, because that's what they do. They meditate on their scritchy scratchies, and then they understand... Um, things in in an intricate manner and learn how to exploit people um not realizing that they're studying their their conch and they're studying um their habits and and all their mannerisms and they're they're just um remotely viewing people and studying them and studying what they do what be it rich or poor just someone they want some somebody they need to to watch and um you know, I believe that uh, the symbol, this this meditational uh, symbol, seal or whatever, seal of Solomon, is uh, something they use to remember what is happen, the the objectives of their mission in um, creating a human sacrifice, precisely the way they need it to happen. Um, so I'm going to say I'm going to start on this side. This side is a. Um, this is a this is a circle with a dot in it, and from my um, from what I've been told, it's, it just means Godhead. It just means them having a perfected consciousness, um, and it it means that they are they've they've done something intricate to create their consciousness perfectly, which usually just involves eating people, usually just in, involves eating. A bunch of dead people so precisely maybe there are dead people that are other dead people i don't want to explain that because that sounds terrible and it i don't want to i don't want to maybe maybe i caused this maybe i don't know in in their in their world like you know in in their world is western science and in western science they can say that um the future can cause the past so here i am talking about it talking about what they do what i can say i have observed them do and um there i am creating something that happens um and expands on whatever is existing right now but what i i'm just gonna say it's this symbol the circle with the dot in it um is their perfected conch the arrow projecting outwards is their conch studying something very intensely that's that they're actually trying to make sure no one is watching them study. They're trying to make sure that um, as they are viewing whatever is happening, perhaps they're looking at very expensive technology that they did not create themselves, but are just um, watching the, the creation of certain technologies happen over time with their perfected conch. Maybe they, they, they cause themselves to see the future somehow with their perfected conch after they eat human remains and they they're just basically looking at random objects and they're they're just seeing the future and they're seeing the evolution of technology and they're exploiting that for themselves to look like they did nothing so terrible to do that in the first place like they never they never ate dead people to see the future and see the future of technology and then and then in, um, profit from that somehow by by building technology that solves a problem that they could have uh, caused themselves just watching the future unfold and knowing how to exploit things that were happening or were already going to happen. Um, so I'm going to say that the the in, on the inside of the ring, uh, the two dots with the lines. Um, with the two dots on either side of this line with the line going down the middle just represents people connecting with one another, building technology with one another. They're all unbiased people, most likely. They're people that they want to exploit because they, they're not necessarily racist or anti-racist. They're just people who are doing a job, doing the the inputs that they themselves 
haven't haven't yet done yet because they're seeing it happen in the future so it's the creation it's co-creation it's also um achieving a specific um result achieving a specific outcome with certain people mingling talking with one another uh working on projects with one another uh creating you know technology you know creating the future um so i think uh you know on on either side these are individuals communicating with one another then the line down the middle and going to the side and creating that one um individual is uh, excuse me is a, a, a certain outcome cuz you know it could, very easily it could say the creation of people you know watching people mingle with one another and watching them create individuals and that causing a certain outcome for human humanity which i can i can assume is possible if they are doing very intense shamanic rituals while they're eating dead people and watching those the people related to the people that they eat um be affected over time after they have children with other people after they do other things over time and and they create other people as a result so i i think this symbol might probably has been around a long time because i i assumed it meant technology but it probably does just mean them watching people themselves create themselves and um, create the future as a result so here um on this side uh, below that that first symbol on the right side, you see um, one dot, then a short line collecting, uh, connecting to a, a sm another dot with the same size, and then a dot, and a dot below that, and a dot below that, and doing the same thing. Um, I believe this is uh, also a symbol of them causing, it's a symbol of them fragmenting the relationships of the people they interfere with so that those people don't meet. Um, I think it, it represents that because um, here in this first symbol, they're watching the people create um, the an individual that causes a certain outcome um, that they predict is going to happen within human history. And I, I can't imagine how all this control and monitoring is actually happening. I'm assuming it happens with technology. I'm assuming, you know, it, it happens at a great distance in the future. Because um, I don't want to say this happened thousands of years ago or hundreds of years ago. I, want, I don't want to say these symbols were, 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 were helping them exploit things happening hundreds of years ago so that we live in a completely racist world where you know things like this are completely normal nobody nobody cares i'm i'm a person that cares i know i i may or may not be representing a large group of people that care because in their world one individual represents a large group of people but um i'm gonna say that the two dots connecting with the short line represents them uh solidifying an alternate history of humanity by causing um individuals who were not necessarily going to meet and procreate to meet and procreate then um you have all the dots going down that's a symbol of them precisely controlling the offspring of the people that they w were not necessarily going to pro procreate with one another and um having them they are basically they're having may, they may or may not be um being caused to uh being equated to one another like uh they they cause multiple multiple couples like um uh, say if um uh Jane and John were going to already have a child to one, with one another they change things up they say John goes with Mary and Jane goes with Ron and you know those that that they solidify that um that alternate history of human history 
and all of a sudden um, all of their children are being equated to one another and um, predicted to cause a desired outcome when um, they are all existing in the same timeline and then they they themselves create a different group of people later on that also um, cause the desired outcome in human history that they need to exploit um, so I'm going to say that uh, the the line at the bottom with the two small dots with the short line um, after the the first three dots is um, also them just solidifying the the next generation of of uh, selected individuals that they want to cause to procreate who were not necessarily going to proc procreate with one another. Um, then I think, uh, I can't, ex I have no idea what these squiggly lines mean, but I am making this up. I'm interpreting this uh, as I go because uh, this, is, this is the most difficult satanic symbol that I have ever tried to interpret. I'm still new at this and I, I'm just, um, just, uh, cultivating, um, a mind where I can, um, s you know, st start understanding how a Satanist thinks. And I'm going to assume that, uh, this, this, this squiggly lines start with a circle and go all the way down to another circle represent, uh, uh, they're selected individuals who were not necessarily going to be created, but were created from an alternate history that they caused by a lot, by making um, individuals who are not necessarily going to procreate with one another procreate. Um, they're sending their in, their offspring into an alternate history. You know, they're making sure those children um, live the life that they want them to live. So they're altering their lives um, in certain ways that cause them to generate. A desired outcome, but they don't, those children do not necessarily have children. Those those individuals don't necessarily have children. They are just um, living under circumstances that um, they exploit for uh, an undetermined amount of time, and uh, maybe it represents that individual's life um, going through um, very extreme conditions. Maybe a pandemic. Maybe. Um, natural disaster, maybe any number of um, uh, terrible life events, just, just something that um, is very emotional, generates a, a movement, generates something um, of significance or that, that is just noticeable in, in recorded human history. Maybe they are part of a civil rights movement, uh, maybe they are part of a civil war, I don't know. Um, then you have um, the, the same, it's like a similar symbol, but it's, um, I think this, this represents them studying themselves using this process on humans for, for however long they've done it. So they've caused a selected individual that was not necessarily going to exist to experience, uh, you know, um, some tumultuous historic event then it causes them to have um, a, an, a, a perspective of the world that they need to exist before they do the same thing again to another selected individual. I think um, it's uh, this swiggly line looking at the other individual. Um, it's like, cause, you know, the dots are individuals. It's like uh, the first dot is before they go through anything then they evolve a little bit after going through this whatever situation they are supposed to go through. Then they're looking at at they're they're maybe they're um, advising somebody from the future who's experiencing this similar situation. And those two people meeting and interacting is something that they wanted to cause, so they could study those two people meeting and interacting, and um, studying one another, and and, and assessing how they both have. Um, 
have uh, dealt with uh, tumultuous situations that were not necessarily going to happen, uh, crazy historic events that were not necessarily going to happen, but were going to happen because Satanists wanted it to happen, because they created an alternate timeline of human history, because they saw the future of all humans on Earth eating humans for a very long time. I don't know. I don't want to believe that's what's going on, but I, I'm just going to say that's what's going on. Um, okay, so then this chip, uh, this little thing that looks like a microchip to me, um, after all of that is, uh, I think it's them having, um, it's them being able to ensure that they have broken down all the con- all the consequences of themselves um, affecting the outcomes that they've generated by studying everything and so they're just um, conversing with one another and they're just having a round table discussion it looks like they're just sitting at their little satanic table doing their creepy little ritual and they're just um, going over all the things that have happened and they're they're assessing themselves um they're they're assessing how how their remote viewing or watching of all of the things that they've caused actually affects everything and i don't know if they do or do this with technology but i'm assuming if this this symbol is old they probably didn't do it with technology probably just did it the normal way they probably just stuck people in jail cells and watched the fuck out of them watched them excuse my language Okay, so here, um, here's another symbol right above that, um, is, uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna say it looks like a harp, a lyre, um, or it looks like, I'm gonna say it just looks like an an ancient instrument, it looks like a harp, um, or it could look like a, a vessel, uh, for, for water, uh, I'm gonna say it means it means causing distraction. You know, if it if it's meant to be a harp, I'm gonna say it just means the creation of media and other um, distracting uh, pastimes for humans that that make people not even notice what's them watching anyone or. Make them completely self-absorbed. Things that cause people to be completely self-absorbed and distracted. And it actually, it's something that profits those, it, it helps those people endure whatever things that Satanists put them through. Um, it helps them, you know, just psychologically endure all the terrible things that Satanists have caused as a, as a result of them affecting human history the way they want it to. Um so it's just to me I think it just means in short the creation of uh shamanic practices, very simple shamanic practices that distract people um into not uh analyzing everything that's going on and to just be completely self absorbed and to actually profit from being self absorbed because they're building themselves a more um sane uh mindset. They're they're maintaining their sight, their their psychology after being adversely affected by whatever the Satanists have done to them. Um, this next symbol right here is a symbol of. Uh, I'm just gonna say it still means building someone's. I think it. I still. I think it means them figuring out how to build humans in a way where they're more exploitable if they're sexually frustrated. Because I know anytime you have curves, when Satanists create curves like that, it, it is, it's inevitably a symbol of sexual frustration because it's like a, it's like a penis going upward and, and moving around inside the vagina like, like a worm. It's, it's very, um, it's like sexual frustration and they just want to maybe they're trying to learn how to build humans in a way that they can um exploit them if they're sexually frustrated and 
they need they need to observe how people shamanize themselves with things like music or other simple things in order to know how um to to co-create to co-create them you know whether it's feeding them certain things having them uh have children with certain people and so forth then you have um this symbol it looks like uh, two triangles with uh, four dots two dots on each triangle the two triangles are meeting i think this uh, is just the solidifying of their plan of uh, having certain individuals create other individuals who they can very easily exploit because they're individuals that they created um, by studying them for a long time and feeding them certain things you know causing them to eat certain things um, I'm not gonna say 